Hey guys, it's Victoria and welcome back. Today I'll show you how I do my makeup and I'll give you some advices what I use and how I do that. I already have this video on TikTok, so if you want, go check this out. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and let's go see my beauty secrets. So after I put my sunscreen, I use concealer, I use L'Oreal. Yeah. I usually don't use any foundations, I just don't really like them. I feel better, I feel like, I don't know, healthier, whatever. Uh, when I just use concealer. So yeah, and we, as you can see, we put it right here and under the eyes to kind of lift them. Then it goes on my nose. Here, here. I'm waiting for people to stop vacuuming. Anyway, um, you probably can hear it now, but I'll start blended. I usually apply product with the um, brush. And by the way, I wash them every day and same with a sponge. So now we're gonna blend it. After we put the concealer, I usually use the contour. I have this Wonder Stick by NYX. I put it on my cheeks, here, and on my nose. Straight lines. Okay, almost straight, but it doesn't really matter. And a little here. And a bit of here. So now I'm gonna blend everything on my cheeks, but to blend it on my nose, I use the brush. And it looks like I'm killing myself a little. But anyway, that's what we do. Okay, that is how we look right now at the moment. And now I'm gonna use brush to blend it on my nose. As you can see, we have this area lifted and this and the nose is perfect. Okay, use the highlighter. I put it on my nose. By the way, you probably can see that I broke my nail. I had a huge mental breakdown yesterday. <sighs> anyway. And I only am gonna have my uh, nail appointment in a week. I don't know how I will survive. I just hate looking at my nails like that. I'm like, ah. Yeah. But anyway, so yeah, we put it on the nose. I'll also use a uh, blush from this palette. And we put it on our cheeks. I use a bit of a bronzer from the same palette. And I put it here and a bit on my forehead. Okay, that's what we have so far. I'm gonna use my concealer again right here. Again, to lift the face. I mean, you see the difference. What do we do next? I forgot my makeup routine action. One eternity later. Eyes. We do eyes. We do eyes. Okay, perfect. Use the bronze. I don't know for the best or for the worst, but I don't have this, you know, clean girl aesthetic. If I do makeup, I do my eyeliner, I do my eyes. I'm just obsessed with my eyeliner. I just really love it. What I'm showing you right now, it is basically my everyday makeup, how it looks like and stuff. I usually, you know, don't do less or don't do more. Yeah, so on the next step, it is my favorite step. We do the eyeliner and I use the epic ink liner and here's where the magic comes if you're really insecure or you're not sure you feel like you don't know how to do eyeliner my advice it just takes practice i know some people put tapes under their eyes maybe it helps i don't know maybe it helps but i've never done it in my life i just I, i've been practicing so i look good right now i look good right now but yeah, to be honest, I just, 
I will never skip this part of my routine. I'm just obsessed with my eyeliner and I can never just go out of the house and I'm do this. I can go out without makeup, without like nothing on my face, nothing. But if I do makeup, I need to do my eyes. That's important. Okay, we'll do the next one. There is no right way how to do the eyeliner. So you just need to practice and figure out what works best for you. Of course you want if you want to do eyeliner. I usually do long eyeliner. I don't know why, just my thing. I think when I was like 15 I started to do eyeliner and the first one that I had they were like really short and stuff. If I find the pictures I'll show you. But yeah, now that's what we got and that is my thing. Not gonna change anything. I've been doing this kind of makeup routine for two years, I guess now. Now we do the corners. And now I'm gonna be using um, the black Kaya. I'm not sure if you pronounce it that way, but yeah, by Kiko. You see the difference? I hope you do. <laughs> I usually put this eyeshadow stick under my eyes. Now we're gonna blend it a little bit. I'm gonna do my lashes. So I put them just on my eyes and I kind of push them so they stick. Okay, and after that, I use the mascara. I use this one by Saint Laurent. Yeah, so this mascara. I think it's not the best for your natural lashes, but for the fake ones, perfect. I do use mascara a little bit for my fake eyelashes, but not every day. I don't usually do anything with my brows because I dye them myself. But if I do, I use this uh, Kylie Brow Pencil. And let me show you what do we do. Don't worry, we're gonna brush them. Okay, now we're gonna brush them. Sorry, I don't look at the camera because my mirror is here and you guys here. But yeah, I hope you can see everything. The brows are done. I usually just use the brow gel for my brows. I use this Max Factor Clear Brow Gel. I just brush them again. The last thing that I do, I do my lips. I do them right before I go out. Just because, you know, you drink water, you eat something, and it is all on your lips. Today, I'm not really sure. I felt like I want to do the red lipstick. But we shall see, because I'll do it a bit later on. I'll just show you what I usually use for my lips. First of all, I use this Kylie Jenner pencil and her lipstick. It usually sells like a kit. It goes together. It is shade uh, Candy K. Yeah. Uh, so I usually use this combo or I also have this Kiko lip pencil um, in the shade 32. And this um, matte lipstick in a shade 03. Look at this one. You've seen the life. You've seen the sandstorm. One of my favorite, by the way. Um, and this lipstick also by NYX um, in a shade Free Spirit. And now we're finishing with my lips. Lipstick in a shade 18. Here we are. That is my makeup. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I do every day. Of course, I don't wear red lipstick every day, but today is just, you know, 
I had this feeling today we do red lipstick. So if you have any questions or if you have any ideas, what do you want me to film next? Let me know and I'll see you in my next video. Love you.